Amen. 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 Amen.
Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we come to say thank you, Lord Jesus, for your mercy, for your grace, Lord. We just thank you for this gathering of your people and the family, oh Heavenly Father. Just to lift up your lane, Lord Jesus, and give you the praise for all that you've done in our lives, Lord Jesus. We pray that everyone here is touched by your amazing grace tonight, Lord Jesus. Let them feel your spirit move, oh Heavenly Father. Whether they've been here before or whether it's the first time, Lord Jesus, let them be touched by the movement of your people, oh Heavenly Father. Lord, we ask that the word that is given tonight flow through us like the uh, food that we need so that we can go out to a dying world and give it to them, Lord Jesus. Not keep it for ourselves, but to give it to a dying world. To tell them what they must do to be saved, Lord Jesus. We ask, we thank you so much for our visitors that came from such a far. And Lord, we ask that you take them back home safely, oh Heavenly Father. Lord, all these blessings we ask in your darling son, Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So
Anybody got a thank you, you need to give the Lord. Amen. You know that's my theme song. Come on, help us tell the Lord. Thank you.
think y'all need to get up and say thank you. Come on, help us sing this song. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Put your hands together as they come. Shoot. 
another hand. Yeah. <laughs> All righty, and now it is time for our welcome by Miss Haley Stewart. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hello. I am. I have been chosen by my pastor, Ronald Brown, and I am here to say a welcome speech to you all. All right. Good afternoon, and thank you for joining us for the 2023 Texas New Mexico Christian Fellowship, hosted by the Life Ministry Baptist Church. On behalf of our pastor, Dr. Ronald R. Brown, Lady V, and the entire New Fly family would like to welcome you all as we celebrate the glory of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Feel free to sing, shout, and help us lift Jesus as a family. You are welcome, welcome, welcome. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. We got them we got working around here, y'all. We working at a young age around here. Amen. Thank you, Miss Haley. Now, uh, we're going to ask for a response from a visitor. Well, praise the Lord, Tim. Praise, praise the Lord. Lord. Good to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. We accept that welcome. We thank you. I do feel welcome, and I'm sure all that is here feel welcome. This is the day that the Lord has Yes. Made. We are to rejoice. Thank you, Lord. We thank you so much for that response, my sister. Amen. Okay, now everybody feel welcome? Amen. All right. Well, now, let's get on moving here. Now, we're going to have our next selection. It's going to come from Faith Christian uh, Center. Right. Amen. Put your hands together as they come. As they can. Good afternoon. It is always a privilege and indeed an honor to be in the house of the Lord and just kind of like to sing for his glory and for his honor. All right, uh, I think we, I think Jack, Jack you gonna come help me? Come help me. Robert, you wanna help me on this one? It's pretty easy. It's pretty easy. Yes, uh, his yoke. Uh, is it possible that we have another another mic here? Do we have one? Do you, yeah, give my brother Jack one. And uh, let me uh, let me pull this up. Oh, this is. All right, uh, we we are in fact honored to be here and be in the house of the Lord. And uh, the name of this one is Ain't No Use. You can't turn me around. I often say that the devil should have killed me when he had a shot, but he didn't do it. And so it's too late to tell me that God will not deliver. How about you guys? Is it too late? I can't hear nobody. Is it too late? You can't turn us around now. We're loose. So pray for us as we try to do ain't no use. Okay. Okay, Dave, let's do it. Let's do it. Amen. together. Come on. You know, we didn't get saved and then we are stuck. No. We, we have a God that's alive and well. Here we go. It ain't no use. Nobody's gonna turn me around. Oh, no. 
it ain't no use. Nobody's gonna turn me around. Oh no, it ain't no use. Nobody's gonna turn me around. Oh no, because my mind is made up. And my soul is heaven bound It ain't no use Nobody gonna turn me around Oh no, let's do it again It ain't no use Nobody gonna turn me around Oh no, it ain't no use
represent the church of Philadelphia. Amen. Put your hands together for them. Amen. Amen. Church, amen. Amen. Let's say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. say hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm, 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 still, I'm still doing all that. I'm still doing all that. All that. Uh, I said, when, when I started hanging out with y'all, I said, y'all gonna know this before it's over with. Yes, Hallelujah. Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna do a couple of old songs, but I only get one. So I'm gonna try to rap a couple of them in one. Amen. 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 All right. These are three of my favorites. All right. See, but when you pray, you know what I'm saying? Bible says God in the heavens. Yes. Praise is of the there is a name
know that they love you and that they miss seeing you all and they said hello. Amen. Okay, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. My voice is pretty loud anyway. So thus far we have had a wonderful time. And I'm just going to take a few minutes. And I mean few, because you know I come from a talkative family. Amen. <laughs> and my pastor's talkative. I'm going to take a few minutes to talk on perfect peace. Amen. And I'm even going to time myself. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I heard that in the back. <laughs> when it comes to true peace, the key component is the presence of God. And keeping one's mind focused on Him. You cannot add to that, and you cannot take away from it. Isaiah 26 and 3 says, You will keep in perfect peace whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. This is a promise with purpose given to Israel during one of the hardest periods in their history. And it can provide help to us today in our lives. When everything is going well, and our lives are in constant incline. It is easy to read this verse and say, oh yes, I have peace. I'm good, I'm fine. But when trials come, when disappointments run rapid, and fear mounts in our minds, then the words of this verse begin to echo in our souls and become an anchor. This scripture gives directive when life is in turmoil. True peace comes when our minds are truly focused on God. It is only through Him that true peace is attainable. When you keep your mind on the Lord and trust Him with your whole being, you will have this form of peace. Ephesians 2 and 14 reads this way, For He Himself is our peace, who has made the two groups, what true groups are those? The Jews and the Gentiles. One, and He destroyed the barrier dividing the wall of hostility. The Lord lets us know in John 16, 33, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. So the question is, what is peace for us? Peace is that inner sense of quietness and contentment when everything around you is in chaos. Peace is that steadfast and unmovable confidence in our faithful Heavenly Father. Peace is also the presence of joy in the midst of sorrow. True peace at time beyond, true peace is at time beyond our understanding because it allows us to go through the pain into true thanksgiving. A person who has genuine peace can endure loss of loved ones, incurable diseases, loss of jobs, and other hardships and difficulties, and still have that inner peace which surpasses all understanding when their mind is focused on the Lord. God's peace is more than enough for any challenge we face in life. And in order to experience that uninterrupted peace, we must keep in mind a few things. We must, one, focus on God. Isaiah 26 says, the steadfast mind Steadfast, committed, devoted, and dependable. Perfect peace comes when we fix our mind on Jesus. Philippians 2 and 5 says, Let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus. When we spend time focusing on our problems, they just get bigger and they drain us. God tells us to focus on Him. He will provide for every need that we have. Philippians 4 and 7 states, And the peace of God Come on with me. On. Which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Yes. Stay focused on the Lord. Yes. He will guide you through and he will see you through every yes. twist and turn yes. in your life. Yes. Yes. Number two, trust him. Trust. Proverbs 3 and 5 says, trust in the Lord with all your heart all and do yes. not lean on your own all understanding. All we are to, in all our ways, acknowledge him. And he will. Yes. All right, our path. His timing is not our timing, but he is always, always. all time. He uses our hardships to reveal more of who he is to us. In his word, we have scriptural truths and promises about peace, which God will always honor. 
Just put your life and trust in him. And then third, meditate on his word. Yeah. Psalms 119 and 165 states, those who love your law have great peace and nothing causes them to stumble. In other words, the word of God enables us to fill our minds with the truths and promises of God. The more we dive into his word, the more our thinking aligns with his truths. We're led away from distractions as the word leads us towards peace from knowing and trusting God. May God continue to bless you and give you peace, my brothers and sisters. wonderful words. She told us we need to trust, we need to focus, and we need to meditate on his word. Amen. Amen. Just that simple. Amen. 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 And that gives us peace. Hallelujah. Give her a hand. Hallelujah. Amen. If you haven't had a chance to participate, now is the time that everyone can participate. We're going to ask our finance committee to please come and gather our offering. Oh, okay. That'll be you. You the finance committee. <laughs> you the whole committee. <laughs> Say amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, all right. How many of you have a program? And uh, believe it or not, your name is on the program even if you don't see it. Amen. And I, I just heard the mission of ceremony say, this is the part where everybody plays. So now, understand that your name is on the program, and, 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 and your job is to give. Yeah. So like the young lady, her job was to give the uh, welcome address. Okay. Our job now, all of us on this part of the program, our job now is, you know what, to give. Yeah. And because uh, the Bible tells us in Acts 20, 35, is more blessed to receive than to give. Right? Okay. Right? That's not what the Bible says. You mean the preacher is lying in the pulpit? Amen. <laughs> he just misquoted it. Oh, I misquoted it all. All right. It's more blessed to what? Yeah. To give. And that's a part all of us can play. Now, you might say, I don't have any money, but give a prayer. Okay. Give a prayer, you know. I know a lot of us don't have any money, you know. And, then if you really, really need some money, ask your neighbor who got some money. <laughs> this is our, fan, our finance uh, committee uh, turn, and uh, we are going to uh, give a quick, just a quick report uh, of, the, of the Texas Mexico Christian Fellowship uh, uh, do have uh, a bank account. And in the bank account, we have a savings account, and we have a checking account. In the checking account, we have $530.88. Right. In the savings account, we have $2,637.94. Say amen to that. Amen. You might say, now, what in the world do you do with that money? Well, we give it to the needy. This past year, we have given it to uh, uh, several people that are in the, in the uh, uh, our fellowship, some who were sick and some who have lost uh, 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 family members through through death. So uh, we're doing something with it. But the only way we can do a thing with the money, we got to receive it. Amen. And who are we going to receive it from? Us. 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 Uh, you said that, us. You took the words out of my mouth. Us. So let us is take care of that. This is Sister Ross. Uh, I think I know her. She is our secretary and treasurer, so she is going to call the names off, and uh, I'm going to assist her with that. So, Sister Ross, take charge. Oh, wait a minute. Let me, okay. Uh, the churches are to represent with $45. The pastors, I mean, we're asking to represent with $45. The uh, pastors, if the church has a pastor, we're asking for $15 from the pastor, from the ministers. And uh, uh, deacons and deaconesses, we're asking for ten dollars. And all the rest of you, especially the ladies, we're asking for fifty dollars. Amen. 
Amen. You want me to repeat that, huh? Sister, uh, Sister Miller, you got $50, huh? You know, you spent all this money. By the way, now you know how, now you know the order now was given, so let us give. Sister Ross, you may proceed. New life, fellowship. New life. Sorry. That's from Ronald Brown. All right. And uh, it's customary that when you come to represent individually, please have please have a scripture memorized or read one from the from the Bible. The Bible says the grass withers and the flower fades away, but the word of God will last forever. Amen. Amen. All right. Faith Christian Center. Faith Christian Center. And he began to pray for heaven and earth. All right. I wonder how he did that. Anybody know? He spoke it. He spoke it. Oh, boy, he took it up. Well, he's a he, pastor. He spoke it. He spoke it. All right. Mountain View. Mountain View, Church of the Nazarene. First, see them before they teach us to follow out the charity, because charity covers a multitude of sins. Yes. Church of Philadelphia. Church of Philadelphia. Church of Love. Philadelphia means love. For God so loved me. For me selfish with this one. He so loved me that he gave. He gave. His only begotten son. And who so I'm a who so All right. Believe in him. He said, Dear Christian, dear Christian, dear Christian, believe in him. Shall not have. Not. But have. Have. What? Everlasting life. Y'all don't believe that. All right. <laughs> y'all believe it. Y'all say it like you did. You're going to have everlasting life. All right. Church of Philadelphia. I like that name. Church of Love. That's a big, long word for love, isn't it? Yeah, big old word for love. <laughs> All right. Sweet home. Sweet home. Sweet home. Sweet home is in the house. Yes, sir. Amen to that. Boys and young that cry in the wilderness, prepare you away from the Lord. Make straight to the desert highway for our God. All right. Isaiah, Isaiah 48. Amen. Amen. All right. Amen. All righty. God's Revival Ministry. All righty. Pastor Henry. Luke 9, 23. And he said to all, if anyone, anyone. will come after, after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. Amen. Amen. Some of us just do it on Sunday. If we have, we do it then. Come on, say amen. I'm going right. Amen. All right. Reverend Bible. Okay, make me look good, huh? <laughs> Praise the Lord. I won't call you names. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're going 
go with the deacon, deacon Phil. Amen. I didn't get a scripture from Sister Cookie. No, they should need to have a scripture. Yeah, he gave one for himself. Oh, John 3. Ow! Ow. I did not come, I did come through the world to condemn it, but to save it. All right. Amen. Good, good. You covered now. <laughs> the Lord is my life and my salvation. The Lord is my strength. The Lord is the strength of my life. Whom shall I be afraid? Nobody. All right. Did you give me a scripture? You can ask. Him. He gave me. He gave it for you too. Okay. All right. That's our favorite? Okay. All right. All right. Okay. All right. She thinks it. He speaks. Sister Ross, you get the diggers. Sister Ross. Sister Ross, you forgot this preacher sitting over here. A pastor. To your right. The other right. That one, yeah. Pastor Johnson. Jonathan. Reverend Jonathan. Reverend Jonathan. I shall not. All right. All right. Okay. Good. Is there any other ministers in the house? Sister Tasha and Pastor Lawrence. He said, Ross, you should know them. I can't see with my glasses on. Thanks, <laughs> Mom. Okay. Reverend, we all come on up here. Tasha and Reverend Lawrence. <laughs> come before his cousin with seeing it. All right. Any other ministers? Good one, wait, you forgot. They got the drummer. The drummer. Minister of the gospel. Answer this shall be given. Seek and you shall find. Not when the door shall be opened up to you. All right. All right. Any wannabe preachers? Oh, I forgot the main one. <laughs> Good. John preached that was gained to the future by preaching. He said, God said, I have a son in the world, to the devil, uh -uh. but that the world through him. My powerful word. Might be my favorite. Favorite. My All right. favorite. Sister Cookie's fun, Sister Cookie's favorite. <laughs> <laughs> that is so true. <laughs> All right. Anybody else? Is all the offices? Okay, uh, Any uh, more deacons? Deaconesses? Uh, we got some deacons and deaconess in training. Okay. Sister Shalandra is a deaconess in training, so. Brother Johnny. Good. 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 This, this deacon right here, we've been getting somebody pointing at him now. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Uh, Psalms uh, 53. First one, the fool has said in his heart, there is no God. The world are they that have done a wonderful iniquity. There is none that does good. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, soon to be deacon. All right. You don't even look like one. Yeah. You look like a deacon, yeah. Let it be known that this is just as much a part of the service as singing and preaching. Amen. Preaching has a little bit more powerful effect, Amen. but this is part of it. Okay. Okay. Uh. Okay, congregation. Uh, Brother Pastor, you have a, an urchin? 
Good morning, uh. Come on, baby. Yeah. Both of you, come on. Collect this money. Okay. Right. I got him. I got him. Come on. Come on. I would like to say this while they're collecting before I, because I might forget it when it comes from my final remarks. Uh, the young, the youth, when they got up and they were saying, I made, I might, you know, march in the infantry. You know, I, I like, I learned that when I do. That's right. A long time ago. Yeah. And, and it's good that we got young people still learning that. Amen. Still learning that. Rachel, do you remember that? Everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. All righty. Brother, uh, we're going to play some of that money giving music. You know. <laughs> Direction, 
You to come this for my way. You to five and nine. When nights are long and cold In sadness You're the laughter The shadows on my face Lord, when I'm all alone Your hand is there to hold You're the center of my joy, my joy. All that's good and perfect comes from you. You're the heart of my commission. For all I do, Jesus, you're the center of my joy. You're why I find pleasure in the simple things in life. You're
of my joy. Put your hands together again. Hallelujah. Thank you all so much. All righty. We have another selection coming up by the Mountain View Church of the Nazarene. Put your hands together. That was the Johnsons and Mountain View together. Oh, okay. Y'all got me. We might, maybe we need another selection. Do we need to make another selection? No, we ain't gonna make you sing again. Okay. All right. Y'all got me on that one. All right. So next then, this is the last time you will be hearing from me. It has been my pleasure to be your MC for this evening. Amen. The next voice you will hear will be Sister Patricia Ross. Amen. Rachel Ross. Uh, Rachel Ross. Rachel Ross. <laughs> it says Patricia. <laughs> Rachel. Rachel. Huh? Oh, okay. Inspirational music by Sister Rachel Ross. She's going to give us two selections. And then we'll have our very own Sister Patricia Ross to introduce our speaker for the evening. Amen. Amen. You all, thank you so much. And now we'll have Sister Rachel Ross. Put your hands together as she comes. lazy singer and I don't like holding the microphone. How are you guys doing? Well, well. Right. Let's see if I can figure this out. Yeah. I swear to God I'm a professional. Ain't nothing wrong with it. So, as y'all know, my name is Rachel. Hey, Rachel. And I have the privilege of being Pastor Ross. First Lady Ross's daughter. All right. All right. All right. They won't brag about how I am the favorite. Shayna, I know you hear me. But we know. My siblings know I am. But I have a feeling it's because I <laughs> might have talents that the rest of them don't have. These songs were requested by my father, and me being the lazy musician that I am, I learned them on the way up here. Let's see if we do them good. I am ready, I think. Can it be a little bit louder? Thank you. Oh, holy night, the 
In the good name. 